Our sages tell us that Mashiach will come by Hesach Adas. Hesach Adas literally means when people are not thinking about him, that is when he will come. Many people ask that seemingly according to this statement of our sages, we shouldn't be thinking about Mashiach, we shouldn't be talking about Mashiach, because Mashiach will only come by Hesach Adas when we're not focusing on him. Obviously that can't be the case, because our prayers are full of Mashiach, Taylor commands us, as a halacha, the Rambam writes, so we have an obligation to anticipate Mashiach. So what does it mean that Mashiach will come by Hesach Hadas, by the diversion of attention when we're not focusing on Mashiach? There are many different explanations given for this. One basic explanation is that as much as we want Mashiach and we think about Mashiach, when Mashiach will come, we'll be surprised, even if a person is eagerly anticipating Mashiach, when Mashiach will come, his actual coming will be so much much greater than we could imagine and, and understand that as much as we are thinking about him, at the end of the day, we are not really focusing on him for what he really is all about. So Mashiach's coming will always be a surprise as much as we're thinking about him. Another explanation is, is that a person's das, a person's knowledge means what, he, what, what, what he's focusing on, what is, what, what, what is important to him. Hesach Hadas, which means diversion of attention, could also be understood at a level that's beyond understanding, which means that the coming of Mashiach is connected to a level in the soul which is beyond understanding. As Al-Tareb explains in Tanya, and he gets a great simon dalad, that the coming of Mashiach is, is just like when there's a person. The person has different things that are important to him. There's certain things that he's rational about, and then there's certain things that his whole life depends on, which he acts irrationally. So Hesach Hadas means that the level of Mashiach, the, the, which is both the Mashiach, the general Mashiach, and the level of Mashiach within each Jew himself, because every Jew contains a spark of Mashiach, is a level which is beyond rational. It's a connection to Hashem, which is Hesach Hadas, is beyond rational. It's beyond any rational decisions, rational calculations. And that's one another Hasidic interpretation of what it means that Mashiach will come, the Hesach Hadas. In a level that's beyond attention. There are another of other interesting interpretations. There's a saying that a number of Siddiq Rebbe's have used to interpret this teaching. They said that in heaven there is every single day our sages tell us Mashiach is eagerly waiting to come and redeem the Jewish people. And every day there are angels that are coming, angels that are created from the different prayers and outcries of the Jewish people which are waiting for redemption, and they come and they tell them, you know, the Jewish people are suffering, they're looking forward to you, they want you to come. When Mashiach hears this, he stands up and he starts getting ready to come. But at that moment, there's other angels that are not necessarily uh, good angels, and they come and say that, no, the Jewish people aren't worthy, this sin was done, this problem is there, you have to remain here, you can't go and redeem the Jewish people. When will come the time to redeem the Jewish people, Mashiach won't pay attention. Mashiach will divert his attention from the words of the negative angels and will come and redeem the Jewish people. So that's another deeper Hasidic interpretation of this saying. But one of the things that the Chachamim are teaching us on a very practical um, level is that a person cannot say that Mashiach will, non- will only come when I expect him to come. What the Chachamim are trying to tell us is that Sometimes is that sometimes we have to understand that even if it doesn't make any sense that Mashiach will come now, when Mashiach is least expected to come, that's when he will come. The Rambam discusses this concept at length in his letter, he get us tame when he wrote a famous letter to the Yemenite Jews about the coming of Mashiach. They were going through much suffering and there was a person that decided that he was Mashiach, an imposter that stood up amongst them. The Rambam discusses a lot about the belief in Mashiach and so on and so forth. And the Rambam writes that from the prophecies of Mashiach, it is clear that when Mashiach is least expected, when the Jewish people seem to be at the lowest stage, they're being prosecuted and so on and so forth, that is where Mashiach will come. So on a very simple, straightforward level, what the sages are telling us is that we cannot make any, we cannot calculate and say that Mashiach will come and we think we should expect him to come. Even if from our understanding, it doesn't make sense he will come, and the way things are going in the world, things seem to be moving away from what Mashiach is all about. But nevertheless, that is maybe precisely the moment that Mashiach will arrive. So Hashem should help that we should 
have true yearning for Mashiach, true expecting Mashiach, we should reach a level which is beyond, we should divert our attention from all the questions and doubts that we have, and we should know that even when we don't think Mashiach can come, that possibility is always there, not always the possibility is always there, but maybe precisely when it seems to us that he's far away, that's really when he's very close, and we should merit to see the redemption very speedily, take it from Yad Mamash.